Hi everyone. This question is about exponential probability functions. So we've got here a graph of an exponential probability distribution and we can see that uh, the intercept here on the y-axis is 1.5. That gives us the value of lambda, 1.5. And the form of this function, f of t, is lambda by e to the negative lambda times t. Now, the, uh, the idea of this question here involves conditional probability. So let's look at this. Determine probability that the wait time for a randomly selected caller to this business is less than 55 seconds, given that the caller has already been waiting for 25 seconds. So let's, let's use the diagram to sort this. 25 seconds would be a little bit less than half of a minute. These times here were in minutes. It wasn't, uh, I should have noted that for you. These times are minutes. So the call's already been on hold for 25 seconds. Now, they didn't get, uh, when they phoned the business, they didn't get their call answered. So we know that the caller will have to be answered sometime sometime in this yellow region. That's, uh, it's got to happen because they, they can't be on hold forever. At some point they will be answered. The question asked us though, what is the probability that they will be answered in less than 55 seconds? So 55 seconds is just short of a minute. That's, I'm going to call that 55 sixtieths of a minute. I should have labelled this first one as 25 sixtieths of a minute. Now, we know they have to be answered sometime in this yellow region. They weren't answered yet, so they've got to be answered sometime between 25 seconds and infinity. We want to know the chances that they'll be answered before 55 seconds. That little green patch is the successful outcome. So this is an example of conditional probability. Uh, I might label this, this yellow region as event A, and event A would be the time to be answered is somewhat, some, anything greater than 25 seconds. I'll highlight that yellow so we remember that that event is the yellow area. And I might label this one as event B, the time to be answered is less than 55 seconds. So using the phrases from the question there, so that's event B. Now how will I write this as a mathematical statement? As a mathematical statement, I'm looking for probability of successfully having event B occur on the condition that event A is given. So we've been told that they weren't answered for 20, they've been waiting for 25. This is, this is really not possible. That bit there doesn't exist in this question. Now what's the, what's the uh, conditional probability rule? That's the probability of event B intersecting event A divided by the probability of event A. If we think about this, we'll, we'll write in using the notation we had earlier, event B was the time to be answered was less than 55 seconds in, oh sorry that should have been an intersection sign, intersect with, with event A, which is the time greater than 25 seconds, time greater than 25 seconds, all divided by the probability of event A, which is time greater than 25 seconds. So let's think about this again. If the time is less than 55, but it also has to be greater than 25, that literally represents the, the green coloured patch. That's the successful outcomes. So that would be given as the integral from 25 
sixtieths of a minute to fifty-five sixtieths of a minute of uh, now my function was one point five e to the negative one point five t dt. And what about the chances that the probability is greater than twenty-five? Well, greater than 25, the yellow patch goes all the way to infinity. So that's the integral from 25 sixtieths of a second to infinity of the same function. Now, because this question was on a tech active examination, we, of course, we could do the integrations and show all the steps. But being tech active, the intent here is that we are just going to use our calculators to perform these integrals. So what have we got to type in here? 1.5 e to the power of negative 1.5 x and my first one is 25, 6, oh, why did that go plus? That was supposed to be divided by, it's still doing it, try again. How normal? 25 sixtieths of a minute. It's just annoying that they gave this in minutes and then the limits were in seconds. So that's my first integral. Just write that in 0.2824. Now, I'm just having a thought here that I might store that in pronumeral in memory location A. Now, what I want to do. Just to go back and rejig this, uh, my second integral is almost the same, so I'll save on typing. Now I can't put infinity there, can I? But I can put a very large number, like 1000. And I'll be careful not to overwrite memory A, I'll put that one in memory B, and that comes to 0.5353. So let's write that in. 0.5353 and then the answer is literally going to be the number I have stored in A divided by the number in B 0.5276 that's my probability that the caller will be answered in less than 55 seconds if we already know they've been on hold for 25 seconds. A conditional probability question combined with an exponential function. Now that's one way to do it. That's the using the concepts behind the question. Uh, but there is an interesting fact about this. The difference between 25 and 55 seconds is 30 seconds or exactly half a minute. Now, there's a strange characteristic of exponential probability functions. If we were to calculate the probability from 0 to 30 seconds or 30 sixtieths of a minute, if we were to calculate that probability for this same function, let's just do that and see what we get. So I'll go back to where I was, here, here I am, and I will change that lower limit to be zero, and I'll change the upper limit to be 30 sixtieths or half a minute and look at that answer 0.5276 now it's not a coincidence 
that that's the same answer that we got for our conditional probability. Because the time difference between our two events was 30 seconds or half a minute. It turns out that the probability between 0 and 30 seconds at the beginning of this function is exactly the same, 0.5276. That's why this exponential function has this property where it's called memoryless. It doesn't remember what happened earlier. If you wait 30 seconds from any given time, if you go to any random time, say 2.5 minutes, and you say, I want to go a half a minute ahead, if you say, what is the probability that the caller will be answered in less than three minutes on the condition that they've already been on hold for 2.5, that fraction of the much larger remaining possible time is still going to be 0.5276. It's almost like the probability function resets from any arbitrary starting point. That's what's called memoryless. So whether you use the memoryless characteristic or whether you use conditional probability doesn't matter. I prefer conditional probability because I'm sort of actually exploring the question and what's actually going on. Uh, I can prove to you that this characteristic holds true no matter what the values are, but that will be the subject of another video. Thanks for watching.